Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark, and with Steve, we're talking Final Cut Pro. Nah. And Excuse me? Nah. <laughs> wrong. What's wrong? Motion. We're, gonna do, we're talking motion today. You're going to talk about motion? <laughs> yes, I'm going to talk about motion. I'm the motion guy. No, today I'm the motion guy. All right, what are you going right. to do? Let's see. Well, here's the thing. I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of video editors uh, have motion and stuff, but they don't ever use it. It scares them, what have you. But yep. there's just some, some things that are, well, it's good for a lot of things, but for me as an editor, it's really good for what I'm about to show, okay. which is transitions. Um, you put a, the transition in <laughs> on a clip, and it's a default duration. And I want to be able to change the duration of a transition so that every time I apply it, it'll apply the duration I want. So when you apply when you apply a transition, it has a specific duration, which you can change after the fact, but you would like a transition that already is a specific duration. That's right. Now you're I right. See. Let's just rather Let's show, show not tell. Yeah, okay, yeah. so if I open the transition generator and the here tra are the, the transitions browser. Browser, I keep calling them okay. GS browser. And if I add this transition, this dissolve to the cut point, that transition is going to be one second. That's the default. By the way, you press control D to show the duration. Right, but what you just said is if you open up preferences, you could set the duration to something other than one second. Yeah, so that all transitions would be two seconds, for instance, or, or a half second. 15 frames or whatever. Yeah. Now here's the thing, that's great and all, but uh, I would just like to have a half. I would just like to have a half second transition or a six okay. frame transition. That I you, don't, you don't want all of them to be half second. You would just like a a six second, a six frame, and a twelve frame, or what have you. Right. Okay. I used to be able to do that in Legacy Final Cut Pro, okay. and uh, now I just like to have it. So I'm going to show you how I use Motion to do that. Okay. Excellent. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, oops, I'm going to go ahead and launch Motion. Project browser opens, and I want to choose Final Cut Transition because this is the thing I'm going to be publishing to Final Cut. So I'm going to select that. And up here in the presets, I want a 1080 um, frame size. And I want to set a 24 frame per second time base. And this is important, you have to decide this ahead of time when you build these transitions. Right. I, I work a lot off. in 24, so it just makes sense to have a 24 one. Okay. And you can set frames. So I'd really like a half second one. So I want a 12 frame. 12 frames in a 24 frames per second project right. would be half a second. That's right. So I have 12 frames, 24 frames, 24 FPS, time base in a 1080 um, project. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. So what okay. I want to do is click in the viewer and press Shift Z, just like Final Cut, to, to fit the drop zone to the window. Oh. And what you're, gonna, what you're noticing here is the transition editor. You're going to make changes in motion to, to, tell, uh, to tell Final Cut what the transition is going to do, what, how it's going to behave. And if I move my playhead over the top, you'll notice it's a straight cut. And when you put the transition on a cut point, that drop zone right there, green drop zone, that's going to be the outcoming, outgoing clip. This drop zone is going to represent the incoming clip. So it goes from green to red, that right. outgoing clip to the incoming clip. Okay. Right, and right now it's a cut. That's not going to do me any good. I want it to do a dissolve. Okay. I'm already set up, the duration's already set up for 12 frames, as you can the see there in the project. hot, the overall project uh -huh. duration. So just, this is simple. I'm going to just grab this uh, layer. I'm going to just drag it out there to a, the a, a side. B side, I'm going to drag out to the beginning so I have, they overlap. So both placeholders last for the whole project. They last, last for the whole mm -hmm. project. Next, I'm going to go to the library, and I'm going to go into behaviors, and I want to go into basic motion, and I'm going to use this fade, fade out behavior. It's a, fade, it's a in, fade, fade in, fade in, fade, fade in, out. fade out, right? That okay. little graphic shows you that fades in, fades out. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop it right on transition A, just like that. Okay. And it adds that behavior. Now, by default, you get a fade in, fade out. I'm not interested in fades on both sides. I'm only interested in fading out. 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 Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero. And then this fade, I don't, remember, since it's only 12 frame transition, I just set this for 12. 12 frames. So right. it starts fading out right at the beginning and fades out over the course of the project. Correct. Okay. So look, if I scrub over this, you can see it starts there and it fades out to red over the course okay. of the project. Now, here's a very important point. You need to make sure the play at the beginning, you had a solid green frame at the beginning and a solid red frame at the end, and that's very important. Otherwise, if you don't, if you have some sort of transition between them, you're not gonna have a clean uh, transition from Entry one to the other. Right. Entry and cool. out. So, I'm pretty much done now. I'm ready to publish okay. to Final Cut. So what I'm gonna do is go to File, Save, and it's gonna ask me what the name of the template. I'm gonna call this Cross Dissolve uh, 12. So I know it's a 12 frame. Okay. And I already created a category earlier called Ripple DX for dissolves, and I'm not going to worry about any of this other stuff. I'm just click publish. Oh, boom, done. Now, wow. now okay. I go back to Final Cut. I go ahead and click the transition browser, and there's that category that I uh, saved earlier, and there is my 12 frame dissolve.
Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on here and notice something. We'll play it. Yeah. And yes. that seems a lot I'll longer than 12 frames. And if I select the clip and press Control D, you'll see it's, it's one, one second. second. What, what the heck? I don't want it one second. So it sounds like Final Cut's preferences overrode motion. They did. And there's why I want to go back to motion and show you how to fix this. So okay. make sure that you do this before you publish. Okay. So if I Control click on this, say Open in Motion, mm -hmm. we're back to that same project. What you're going to want to do is select the project icon at the top of the Layers um, pane. Uh -huh. And then you're going to go to the Inspector and you're going to click Properties. And here's the little checkbox right here. Override FCP. Yeah. You check that, and whatever you have in these presets, like 12 frames, 24, that's going to be the presets that get published to get Final applied. Cut. So that should lock it in to be 12 frames. Yes, it bakes okay. it in. So all I have to do is set Command, Command S to, Command save. S to uh -huh. save, toggle back to Final Cut, and let's go ahead and grab this same transition, and let's drop it on this time. And look at I that. You can see right away, it's about half the size. It's about, yes, in fact, we get Control-D, it's 12, 12 frames. frames. So what's really great about this is I can quickly create a number of preset transitions, 12, 6, a collection, whatever, a, a collection, collection yeah. of them, and then drop them on. I don't have to keep changing the transition every single time, which to me yes. is a lot of work. Yep. So as an editor, I find going into motion to make little things like this hugely time-saving. The only thing, only thing I might add to that is if you really find you're using a particular one all the time, you could set it as your default transition and then just apply it with the keyboard shortcut. Fact, let's, let's do that. What, what, do you, what do you mean? Control just, click, yep. make default. Make default. And that way every time you use it, it's a 12 Yeah, frame. hit Command T once you've selected an edit point and you've, you're using it. Great tip. Love it. All right. Excellent. New Motion Master. Motion Master. <laughs> all right. well, I'm, still the, uh, I'm still the Padawan learner. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Please check us out at RippleTraining.com where we have training and plugins and everything related to Final Cut Pro Motion, DaVinci Resolve, and more. Uh, check us up on Facebook, like us on, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.